Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, if there are any. Um, I'm going to start off by saying thank you for um, all your well wishes and your prayers. Um, I um, am doing good. I'm trying to be good and keep my butt still, but my husband making it hard because he's trying to drag me everywhere. But um, he knows I don't like to sit still and I get bored very quickly, so he's not helping. But I had to put my foot down and tell him, no, um, I have to stay put at least until Monday. I'm not going to do any running around. So um, I've been being good and not been running out in the streets and stuff like that. Because, yeah, I'll do stuff like that, you know, and then be paying for it later. So, anywho, I just want to thank you. Um, I'm going to do a review on... Um, Sugar Lush. I'm sorry if I'm I'm chewing gum. <clears throat> yeah, but um, I'm going to do a review on Sugar Lush. I recently placed an order with her. I ordered um, another charcoal gray bar because I really like this bar. I use this bar at nighttime on my face just because for me I use it as like kind of like a detox bar. And during the day, I use my Cherry Tree Lane, um, more milder soaps. And I have the milk soap and the yogurt bar as well. And this is one, the first one that I bought from her. This is the Charcoal Gray. Um, it was big, just like this. Uh, it, this is how it comes wrapped. It's nicely, it has a nice decoration on it. She does a really good job. You see how thick it is. And I shared this bar with my oldest son, my daughter, and I gave a big piece to my husband. And so this is what I have left, and it does really last a long time. What I did was I cut um, like slices, small slices or blocks for, for each of us. I, my husband got the biggest piece, but for me and my kids, I just cut like small blocks and that's what I used and it lasts such a long time. Um, so it does not melt very quick. So if you're just using it by yourself, you have this bar for quite some time. And I like, I do have a review on this bar, so I don't think I want to really get into a review on it. Um, but I like the bar because it helps to control. I have oily skin for whatever reason, lately recently the past few months i used to have combination skin but now my skin is like very oily and it could be hormonal yeah a lot of y'all know last year i had a hysterectomy so there are a lot of things that's going on with my skin my hair it's just madness but yeah i have very oily skin on my face and it was driving me crazy but this soap does help to control the oils. So the soaps that I'm using, I'm very pleased with on my face. And um, I will continue to buy this soap unless she changes it or it doesn't work anymore. Um, I may have to get another one because um, my husband um, is trying the soap as well. And um, I may need to just buy him his own bar because I'm already sharing with two other people. So, I may have to buy a few bars at a time, but also I got her lemon lip butter. It smells like lemon. It smells really good. This is how it looks. And it is like a butter. It's not loose. I mean, you know, like soft or anything, but it does, you know, melt pretty good, as you can see. And it glides on the lip really well. And this butter is, um, I believe, $7, and it's a half an ounce. It's made with um, coconut, apricot, macadamia, almond, and olive oils, shea and cocoa butters, beeswax, natural colorant, essential oil. Again, it's a half an ounce. Um, I like this butter. Y'all know I'm really picky when it comes to my butters my lip butters and lip balms so it's hard for me to find one so I really do like this 
Now here comes with the soaps. I bought um, Banana Rama, and this one is a bit smaller because she cut them small, so she gave me two. So this is Banana Rama. I'm so sorry. My phone fell, and I'm not gonna do this over. Cause this is like my second time doing this video. But, um, so y'all gonna have to look up at the sky for a couple of seconds. Um, so I did show the, the, the banana rama and let me just show you this one is not open. I did open this one. This is pretty much how it looks. You can see all of the herbs and she grows her own herbs from what I've been told. Maybe not all of them, but she does grow some of her herbs that she uses in her products. And the ingredients in this is saponified organic coconut, olive, sunflower, macadamia oils, shea and cocoa butters, purified water. She uses real banana in this and essential oils. Now, if you didn't notice, I don't know if you noticed, it does not say fragrance. In this and um, I don't think she put fragrances she would have to put a fragrance in here because it smells well the essential oil is maybe the a lemon essential oil if they have one because it's a light sweet lemon scent but in her soaps this is the carrot cake soap there's no fragrance in this and this is the carrot cake soap. And what that means and when there is no fragrance, it may not smell all that ooh la la. The ingredients in the carrot cake soap is satinified olive, organic coconut, castor and sunflower oil, shea butter, organic carrots, so she uses real carrots, mango butter, rose hip seed oil, carrot seed oil, honey, vitamin E and essential oils and this is a four ounce bar and then this is the strawberry filled which I used I cut it in half and used part of it and this is how this looks and um, the ingredients are sapnify olive sunflower coconut castor oils Shea and cocoa butter strawberries, so she uses real strawberries. Um, cocoa water or something, goat's milk, steric acid, essential oils, natural coloring, poppy seeds, and this is also a four ounce bar. Okay, in her bars, the first thing I noticed when I opened them, let me move this out the way, was that the way they felt. I can feel the oils and the butters in her bars. They felt really nice. Y'all know a lot of the times I go by feel, I you know, put a lot of things on my hands, my fingers to see how they feel first impression before I use it on my body, on my hair, whatever it is. And I can feel the butters and the oils in this. Um, I know you remember me saying that, well, you should, she doesn't have fragrances in here. I guess it's just the fragrances from the natural ingredients that she's using and the herbs that she's using. With that being said, you already know that it has a herbal smell to it. it this does not smell like strawberry in any which way or form. Um, it has, this one has a light to medium herbal scent to it. Now, when I use this, my skin felt very good after using it because it has all of the oils and butters that she uses in this. And I don't even know if you can see that. Look how you can see how it has a, a slick shine to it. You may be able to even see it on my fingers. But um, it really tells in the skin after you use it. I mean, it was almost like my skin felt really good. 
See, I know I wait for the ash test just to see how long it would take for me to ash up, even though I know I'm going to put on um, a um, lotion or a butter or oil. But I'm going to see if the butters really do and the oils really do um, come off onto the skin, you know, how moisturizing it really is or it can be and I could say it was a really nice bar the downfall of these bars for me this one I don't even know if I can use because this oh my gosh I do not I mean the herbal smell on this is really strong I don't even think I can't even use this because I do not like the way it smells Again, all of her bars have the oils and butters in it and they feel really good. But I have to be able to tolerate somewhat of the smell. And with that carrot bar, mm -mm. this one is a little bit too strong for me too. The only one that I could really tolerate the smell with is the strawberry fields. Um, I'm not a big herbal person. I don't mind the herbs as long as you can kind of mask it with somewhat of a, a nice light fragrance. Um, I know Texture Me Natural, she's into the herbs and they're Ayurvedic and you can smell it, but she puts nice light fragrances in because nobody wants a stinky product um, or a product that just, you know, smells like herbs. Everybody don't like the herb scent, and, but I do also know that a lot of people cannot use fragrances in their products so a lot of the products have to be unscented in order for them to use it which really sucks um, especially if you like stuff I know that I used to be like that with a lot the Bath and Body Works I just couldn't use it whatever they was putting in it um, it was breaking me out and it smells so good I love that stuff the smells the the body the body shop oh my goodness but I just could not use that stuff so I had to use um, boring lotions that really didn't have a smell to it or smell all that great you know so I know that could kind of suck um, when you like stuff that smell good but you can't use it so um, my thing is if you are one of those ladies or gentlemen that have really sensitive skin that can't use fragrances in your products um you may you know you may want to check her out sugar lush because her products are very good very well made um a lot of care and thought put into it but again i just can't take the um the herbal you know smell I need somewhat of a good smell so sugar lush I absolutely love her charcoal gray bar she also has an oatmeal bar and this one just has a regular soap smell so I mean if she could have made these with a regular soap smell it would have been on the money for me because they actually really do feel good um, this like I said it doesn't have like that black soap type of smell or African soap smell or anything like that it just has a normal soap smell um, her charcoal gray soap her lemon her lip butters I really do like I would buy this again I like the the feeling of it the you know the smell is really good and like she also makes a lip scrub I'm not too too much in the lip scrubs I already have one that will probably last me forever in a day because I may use it once a month <laughs> so if I can remember to use it then but um, she puts a lot of thought into her products and even in the presentation as you can see I open these up so um, the papers and with her lip scrub they come in a um, I think it's a glass jar with the um, with the lid with the old school lids with the metal pieces that you can you know snap down and snap back up um i forget the names of them but they come in these really cute nice jars um that you don't see too much of um it has the seal lid on it that seals it in or whatever so um 
she puts a lot of thought and work and she grows her own herbs to put into her products. I don't think you can get no better than that. But as I said, the herbal smell for me is just not it. So, unfortunately, the body bars, um, I, don't, I don't, unless she, you know, starts putting a fragrance to it or she takes the herbal scent out of it, I can't do the, um, the body bars because the herbal scent is just not my thing. But if herbal scents is your thing, if you like herbal scent or if you're one that can't do fragrances, um, you definitely need to check her out and just check her out anyway. Her, her facial bar is really nice. It's really good. I like it. Her lip, her lip balm, lip butter is really nice. I like it. There's a um, sub of mine and an Instagram um, curly friend of mine who bought the lip scrub and the lip butter before I got mine. I didn't get the lip scrub, but you know, she told, um, posted on Instagram about the lip butter and she absolutely loves it. I think everything that I show her for the most part, if she, when she gets it, we kind of like have the same type of feeling towards it. <laughs> you know, um, the live whole be free deodorant she ordered it. She really liked it, but she started breaking out. And then I got mine and I started breaking out from it too. And then she got the sensitive and she said it was okay until, you know, it started getting really hot. And then she was like, it's not working. I said, it ain't working for me either. But um, hair products, all that is really funny. But she, she absolutely loved this lip balm. Her name is Natural Dane. Hey girl, she's on Instagram. Go check her out. She does not do YouTube. And I don't think she's on Facebook, but she is on um, Instagram. So go show her some love, Natural Dane. Um, and she is a product junkie as well. And her husband actually uses a lot of the products that she buys, like the facial bar. Her husband loves the um, the charcoal gray, she says, because she bought it and, you know, they share. So her husband uses some of this stuff as well. Um, and... He loves it too. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, again, Natural Dane on Instagram. Go check her out. She um, buys a lot of stuff. And she kind of does her reviews on Instagram. But, yeah, uh, Sugar Lush. If you're not into the herbal scents or fragrances and soaps or smells and soaps, um, at least check out her, her lip products and her... Um, charcoal gray bar or her oatmeal bar her oatmeal bar is the same round with the dot with the designs on it it's just an oatmeal opposed to the charcoal gray this does not act like an african black soap by far so don't get it mixed up just because it's well it is charcoal but just because it may look like black soap, it does not act like black soap. I cannot use black soap on my face. It's just way too drying. I can't use black. I can't use black soap, period. The only black soap I would use is Shea Moisture. And that's the body wash. And that does dry your skin out too. But it leaves your skin like silky, smooth feeling. But um, any other black soap I've tried has just been a nightmare. For me so do not get this confused with black soap because this does not act like black soap in any way shape or form not for me anyway um so um yeah so that is my review on sugar lush she is on facebook she is on instagram um you can sugar lush co i believe um, you can find her on Instagram, on Facebook. Just look for Sugar Lush. It's Sugar Lush. And here it is. So go show us some love. She is a new um, product maker, you know, um, trying to make her way in this crazy business. And um, from what I'm seeing, um, she's passionate about what she does. And um, it's not just money. From what I can tell and from interacting with her and from the looks of her products. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please leave your comments in the box below. Don't forget to share on Google Bus. Sorry about the gum chewing. Um, give me a thumbs up. 
and peace out.